A new season in For Honor means a lot of different things, from new heroes, new maps, a total revamp of the look and feel. It's the first time we do a season that big. We introduce the tournaments and ranking. That's a huge activity that players were waiting for, where they can really play against other and, and show that they are the best at the game. So it's the biggest season we've ever done, so I'm super excited to see the, the reception about that. Once a player understands the matchup of all the different heroes, we want to bring new one, so it shuffles the battlefield. We're bringing two new heroes to For Honor. A new Viking, the Islander, but also from the deep south of the Roman Empire, we're bringing you the Gladiator. How it works on For Honor is that the new heroes are available at the beginning of the new season for the season pass owner, and one week after that, everybody can access them. So with season three, Grudge and Glory, we're introducing two brand new maps. One, that is the Sentinel, that is a realm castle that still has one big tower standing. The Sentinel comes with a ballista, so you can shoot other players on a medieval battleground, so it's super cool. The other one is the Viking village. It's really capture the feeling of that raiders, Viking village up in the north in a cove by the water. So we're adding a new rarity level mostly for the, for the players that already completed their heroes that want to get new visuals also for their armor or for their weapon, but also to get uh, different statistics. At each new season, we have a, a breath of new players coming into the game, so we, we shorten also the progression for them, so the, the first levels, the first rarities are easier to access, and then we have the high rarities that are more for the long-term players, so then everybody can find uh, something cool to do with, uh, with their heroes. We're bringing the first step of our competitive experience with tournaments in Jewel, and ranking. We organized close to 15 tournaments before the game even shipped. So for us, doing tournaments is a normal thing. We paid very close attention to what the community has been doing and all the tournaments that have been organized. So for us, it was just a natural step to bring a competitive feature into the game. That's one of the cool things that the new season, yes, it's two new maps, two new heroes, but we're also doing a lot of improvements on the site. The UI team, for example, worked a lot on is the heroes menu. So now when you select an execution, when you select an emote, you can see, you can play with it, and that's a really cool thing the team was working on. We've taken a close look at some of our existing map, and we've looked at how their arena duels were behaving. We've made some of those arenas bigger, we've removed some traps, we've made them less little to improve the player experience while playing in Jewel in these maps. Our intention with Grudge and Glory is to bring a breath of fresh air into the For Honor experience. Because basically what we've done since launch is that we fix stuff, we've improved stuff, but on top of that we're adding new content, we're building new content for each new season. We're adding ranking, we're adding new improvement to the customization system, we're adding new feature to the metagame, we really want to demonstrate our long-term support and commitment to the game, and that starts with Season 3.